market's always moving, it's always changing. And I guess look, this is something for that a real estate agent's always got to be mindful of is keeping track of the past, but it doesn't necessarily mean that's where the future's going. We do have to factor in, there is really a two-stage market in Sydney. For the last seven or eight years, property prices for apartments almost haven't changed. Like we've got properties we've sold eight or nine years ago where we're reselling them and they're almost in the same price range. But generally it's that housing supply, which is just, there's no more land. Yes, you can go southwestern Sydney, northwestern Sydney, and before you know it, you'll be out at Windsor. To drive from Ride to there in the morning could be an hour, hour and a half. The blocks are getting smaller. You're getting 200, 250, 300 square meter blocks, where when you're talking Ride, the average block's still around 600 square meters. Um, so it's meaning that people are seeing value in an asset which is appreciated over a long period of time. And for everyone, like it sucks. Interest rates have gone from 2%. Lots of people are coming off 2% loans and they're bouncing to six, six and a half. And a lot of people were nervous, but I think people have just realized that good quality property is so scarce in Sydney that you've got no choice. Like, yes, it's going to hurt paying a six or six and a half percent mortgage when you were paying a 3% a year ago. But if someone else is willing to do it, if you're not willing to do it as well, you're going to miss out. And I think that's why prices just keep moving. Like in the last probably three or four months alone, some of the suburbs that we work in, we've probably seen 10 to 15% growth rates. And it's not that there's been a severe lack of properties going on the market. It's just that demand. People are just like, you know what? I'm not gonna wait for prices to drop. They're clearly not dropping. And that's why things just keep moving.